y'all this is mama's mad ideas and i'm here today with you with another video so in today's video i'm going to be making tie-dye candy apples so here's a look at the ingredients that i will be using in today's recipe for the ingredients you will need light corn syrup sugar gel food colors apples decorative straws some water of course and flavoring is optional okay so if you notice on my apples as I begin to prep them you'll see this white residue well that's just the residue that remains from cleaning the apples properly and that's called a wax buildup and so this is very safe it is not harmful it's just the residue left from where I cleaned the apples so I'm hammering the sticks into the apples and now I'm placing the straws on top of the apples don't forget to dry around the base of your apple. Now we'll begin to prepare my candy apple mixture. I will be using two cups of granulated sugar, one cup of water, and also I'll be using one cup of light corn syrup. Once I have added these three ingredients, I will begin to stir my mixture very well. I will now place my stove on medium high to high setting and begin to boil my mixture until it reaches 300 degrees. Be sure to stir your mixture occasionally as it boils to keep it from sticking to the bottom of your pot. While I was boiling my candy mixture, I had a spark. I had a wild, mad idea. I decided I wanted to make some lollipops with my leftover candy mixture. So I'm gonna be using these flower molds right here to make some lollipops as well. If you'll notice, the bubbles in the candy mixture are very close together and they are more intense. This is a good sign that it's almost time for your candy mixture to be done. Once your candy mixture reaches 300 degrees Fahrenheit, it is time to take it off the stove. You don't want it to stay on too long and scorch or burn. My candy mixture is almost at 300, so I'm preparing to remove it from the stove. Be careful. This is very hot. You don't want to get burned by this. You can get a first, second, or third degree burn if you get burned by this candy mixture. I'm about to remove my thermometer from my pan and place it in a cup of cold water. And now I'll be adding my white gel food coloring. I will be using approximately one tablespoon of this food coloring. Once you add your gel food coloring, you're gonna want to stir it up very well and make sure there are no white flecks left in your coloring. Once you have everything mixed up very well, now it is time to dip your apples. In this clip, you will see me tilting my pot as I prepare to dip my apples, getting my mixture ready. And now we dip dipping my first apple and I'm just gonna dip and turn, dip and turn. Once you have completely coated your apple, you will remove it from the candy mixture. Be very careful because remember, this is extremely hot. You are going to let your apple drip off the excess candy mixture. And then you are going to scrape your apple on the side of your pan or pot. And now you will be completing this process for the, your remainder two apples or however many apples you decide to do. As 
as you see here, I have a lot of candy mixture left over. So I'm just going to take the remainder of my candy mixture and I'm going to place my mixture into my mold that I showed you in the beginning of the video. So I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to pour the mixture right into the mold. <laughs> And so what you see me doing is just cleaning up the excess candy mixture off my mold and hitting it onto my countertop just to make it flat. Mixture has set for about five minutes. I'm going to add the lollipop sticks. Once this has set for about 10 minutes, it is probably safe to remove the lollipops from the mold. So I'm just going to place them on my nonstick mat. As you see here, they form very nicely. They're like little mini candy apple lollipops on a stick. Now it's time for the fun part. I will be preparing my mixture for my tie dye effect on my candy apples. I will be using the same ingredients that I used in the beginning of the recipe. I'll be using two cups of sugar. I will also be using one cup of water and one cup of light corn syrup. Don't forget to stir up your mixture well. For this portion of the recipe, I will be using just a couple of drops of the pink food coloring. As you see here, I want to give my mixture just a slight tint because I do not want it to be completely clear for this tie dye effect. Once I add two drops of the food coloring, I'm going to stir, place my heat on medium high to high heat and begin to boil. Don't forget to stir your mixture occasionally as it reaches 300 degrees. Once my mixture has reached 220 degrees, I will be using one dram of this Loran cinnamon food coloring. <music> Okay, so my mixture is about to be ready. Now I'm going to be adding my gel food coloring to my mixture and I'll be using one to two drops of each of the colors that I showed in the beginning of the video. You can use any color that you would like for yours. <music>
So now that you have added all the drops of the gel food coloring that you desire, now it is time to begin to dip your apples and you will dip your apples the same way you normally dip them. And you will see the tie dye effect take place. So here you have it, folks. This is how I do my tie-dye effect. I came up with this technique after attempting to do the marble look and the colors blending together, and it was so annoying. So I was thinking, what could I do to make this not blend so bad? So I think the double dip process, which I'll call, is a good way to keep the colors from blending, and the white really makes the colors pop. <laughs> So now I'm going to complete my lollipops and I'm going to use my leftover candy mixture and I'm going to pour it back into my flower mold as you will see me doing now. Now I'm going to place the white lollipops into this hot mixture so that they can stick together. You will see me doing that now. Hey everyone so here you have it this is how i did my tie-dye candy apples and my tie-dye lollipops and now it's time for my favorite part my photo shoot yep mama always does a photo shoot when she's done so here i go with my photo shoot So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial on how I make my tie-dye candy apples. You all, please continue to watch my videos. Please share, share, share my videos with family and friends because mama is trying to get to the next level. You all, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. I love answering questions. Thank you so much to all my supporters. Thank you everyone for watching my videos. It is so, so much appreciated. You all take care, stay blessed, and I will see you again real soon in my next video. Bye-bye.